Well, thousands of children and teens become homeless each and every day. Many of them are African American. Organizations blame the recent growth in youth homelessness on the coming out of gay teens. And I told my mother, and like she just totally just like disowned me. When 21-year-old Brian Murray came out to his family five years ago, they threw him out. He's been living from shelter to shelter ever since, and he's not alone. According to Covenant House, one of the largest crisis management organizations, the number of homeless African Americans living in shelters has increased from 54% in 2002 to 56% last year. Many of them haven't even reached their 21st birthday. Most are male. And gay organizations nationwide say many are gay and have been abandoned by their families, just like Brian. The truth is, we would rather not have a gay son for fear of um, the, the homophobia out there in society. Tokes Asubu runs Gay Men of African Descent, or GMAD, a New York-based nonprofit, trying to help young black men deal with their sexuality. Almost all of his clients are homeless. The first step in the work we do is finding a safe place for our kids to live. You know, we need to get kids off the streets. Without that, we cannot do anything. Whatever interventions we, 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 we try are bound to fail. I can talk to people here, you know, about anything without being judged, you know, without people second guessing me. Um, or without them drawing an opinion of me. While GMAD provides a safe haven for homeless gay men, they don't have the funding to feed or house them. That's where Covenant House has stepped in. And counselors say they are finding more and more gay teens on their doorstep. Any behavior characteristic that people uh, don't like or people disagree with or people don't think the lifestyle fits them, for young people, that's the reason they become homeless. So I'll say we are the sensitive, we are the sensitive men. Counselors say the answer to the problem is counseling more black families on homosexuality. Parents don't know what they're throwing their children into. They think, okay, well, he'll be all right. He does, he's not all right. He's abused, he's beaten, he's molested, um, he becomes part of the sex trade, he becomes HIV positive, he becomes a heroin addict. These are the things you're throwing your child into, and these guys survive on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a wonder, you know, how any of us get through life knowing that this goes on and just pretend like it doesn't. Homeless teens needing help. Well, coming up...